black rhino and rhinos generally are under huge pressure. We really have to fight for them. If they don't have champions, they're doomed to disappear. And this is the kindest way we've yet discovered of moving a rhino from the field to a vehicle. It is a big operation. It's a lot of animals to try and move in a really short time. There are no roads. There is no access whatsoever. You know, most of these parks are wilderness area. The WWF Black Rhino Range Expansion Project aims to boost the growth rate of the black rhino populations of South Africa. It's become a passion. It's not just a job, it's a passion and uh, yeah, it, it gets into your soul. There hasn't really been an operation of this nature with 20 black rhino conducted in South Africa. It's a bit sad to let them go. You, you get attached to them, the field rangers know them by name. Every single one is different. It's a wild animal that's completely unpredictable. We're really glad for them because we think it's, a, we know that it's, it's critical and it's extremely important for us. It's an over 1400 kilometer journey. It's the longest journey I've ever done with rhinos. The black rhino coming back in this area is a, is a very big thing. This has been a very good cooperative thing because we've got Eastern Cape Parks, we've got Sand Parks, we've got Dizenvelo Kazedin Wildlife and of course WWF. I think it could only work because all the different parties are so passionate. It's a huge thing to, to see them for the first time coming um, to this particular area. Yeah. It stops here for us. But for them, it's now a lifetime commitment that they have to keep up. I think it's a, it's a great honor for them to be able to have these rhinos. These are very special rhinos. There's no doubt that this project has made a huge difference to rhino conservation in South Africa.